Hi guys, welcome back to the Autosport TV YouTube channel. I'm Ants, and everybody knows who this dude next to me is by now. So we've got something very special today on the channel. Very modern. Very modern and um, very popular. You might have been a young child and your nonna or nonna would have had one of these. You go over to Italy and you'll see them in barns, you'll see them in bushes, you'll see them everywhere in Italy. It's Fiat's overall best-selling car ever. I think they produced over 7.5 million of these globally. And we've got a true survivor. We have found one and it's only covered 52,000 miles. Um, it's got amazing service history, which I'll show you later. And we'll walk around the car and we'll do a tour on it. We'll get it out. And um, I'm going to take the lads out in it and see what they think of it. Do I get to drive it? You could drive it. Cool. Um, JP, do you know how much brake horsepower this car's got? Uh, it's got to be three figures. Come on, give me the good news. 45? But it weighs nothing. It weighs nothing. 45 brake horsepower. Fiat's fire engine. It's like bulletproof engine. So if we snap a cam belt, we're good. It carry, we can just yeah. throw it to the side of the road. We can just throw yeah, another one on. If this snaps a cam belt, you could just fix it on the side of the road and carry on. Nice. Unlike some other cars. Um, and it only weighs as much as your shoe. Well, I've got big feet, so they weigh a ton. So. I think it's 696 kilos. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I don't know, is it? You tell yes. me, you're the specialist. I think it is, when I last checked, I think it was. And there's only 30 left, well, tax on the roads today, of this model. In the UK? In the UK. In Italy, there's In Italy, it's probably thousands. But anyway, yes. enough of me rubbing on. Shall we get this thing out? Take it out on the road and see what it's all about. It's not going to rust away if we go for a puddle, is it? It might. Yeah, the weather's a bit... If it gets windy, we've got, we've got a storm going. It's not going to blow over, is it? No. Cool. Right, let's get it out and see what it's about. I suppose this, is this supposed to be a rubber grommet there, perhaps? Maybe. I mean, I'm assuming that a bolt through like near off the wing so you can take the door off. Yeah, probably. One bolt. Is I that... just like the fact that, JP, it's got 135 width tyres on the back. They are certified bicycle tyres. <laughs> I don't think I put it too thin to be bicycle wheels. Look at the size of them. Look at <laughs> Everybody owned one of these. I owned one of these when I was 17. And I used to work at Domino's Pizza, delivering pizzas. And I used to have one of these. Oh, he's a true Italian. Yeah. Working at Domino's. That's, that's a legal <laughs> to me, isn't it? To work at Domino's. Yeah. To be fair, even my auntie had one of these when I was a kid. My Did she? Had one as my, as her In red. Car, really? Way before I was born. See, everybody's had a panda. Everyone's had a panda. I haven't had a panda. This must have been quite high spec because I don't think my mum's had a stereo. I think hers was literally just a, a steering wheel and a gear stick. I think this is the, the top of the range one. Now look look at the speakers. They're from, the speakers are like from a tannoy system from the London Underground. <laughs> look the at the boat. Between the train and the platform. <laughs> Please mind the panel gap. Please mind the panel gap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, this Matt's. I mean, the boot in this is actually legit. It's better than a Fiat 500 boot. It is, actually. I mean, most things are better than a Fiat 500 boot. Oh, that's it. Park it right over a puddle. <laughs> look at this, right? Look. So what I like about this is all the stickers are still on it, intact. There should be a wheel here. But that's, Wait, that's, where the spare goes. that's where the spare goes, oh, here. This is a jack. Yeah, it's a jack. <laughs> but can you see the recess here yes. of where the wheel should go? That's but actually this don't have one, it's gone missing. Oh. Um, but we have, um, we've had it on the ramp, we've serviced it. Uh, the belt was changed, uh, plugs. Um, and she just runs really sweet. I mean, you can't go wrong with these Is engines. it carb or single point injection? Carb. Carb. Yeah. I know the Mark 1 Punto is a single point injection. It's the same looking, same engine here, isn't it? It's cool, isn't it? 
Lovingly green Hulk Illuminous yeah, what cam is, cover. Oh, okay, it's a cam cover. It's rather green. This hasn't, this hasn't been restored. It's just a true survivor. You know? You wouldn't want to restore it anyway. You just well, like abuse it. it. Yeah, use it. Did you say abuse it? No, JP. No. Use like, a true survivor, I think it's better than um, Do it. one that's been restored. You're going to abuse it today. Well, now you've sold it. Well, no. I've sold it. I can't. Shall we take it for a drive, man? Yeah, let's take it for a drive. Who's going first? I'll go first. I've not driven it yet. Have you not? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, I have a Jesus handle. You have a Jesus handle. Jesus handle. Oh, so do I. You have a Jesus handle. Everyone has a Jesus handle. Everybody has a Jesus handle. Except you. But you have the steering wheel. That's your personal Jesus handle. Well, the first thing I'd like to say is it's surprisingly quite cool in here. I like the pattern on everything. The, I like what the is stripes. it? The checkered. Uh, uh, they're like stripy, <laughs> pinstripe interior. Um, but I do feel like I'm going to die, and we haven't even reached five miles per hour yet. Shall yeah. we take this around the track? Yes. No. I do. I, yes. I yeah. do feel like the engine is like on your lap. I feel like everything's on my lap. I feel like you're on my lap. <laughs> Daddy. Oh, I feel the power. Oh my God. Does he even have a rev counter? No. no. <laughs> Would you like to sign me a race, sir? Oh, um, in a bit. <laughs> in a bit. Up a bit. Down no, a bit. in. Left a bit. In. In. Up. Up. Perfect. <laughs> now, back in the day, I bet all of you had to do that through one part yeah. of your life. I I've had doing to do it. For it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little nippy thing, you know. And the response, the full response is really good. Yeah, until I sit in the driver's seat, I'm saying nothing. Just. I don't feel safe. No. The brakes. Oh god, the brakes. I mean, the calipers on this do look like they can fit in a Pringles tin. <laughs> yeah. When um, we park up, can we show the guys all the yes. buttons and stuff? All the buttons, all the four. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. I mean, look at look at the vent. Yeah, the spider webs. Oh, it well, it works. Is it um, taking you back to a better time? Yeah, the, the mountains of Italy, <laughs> when I was a little boy, back in Sicily, when my nonno was alive. I think this is a car that, you know, brings back memories for any child. Well, not me. Not you. Italians. Well, you are Italian. Yeah, also I'm not old enough to have... Yeah, you're not old my enough, you're only young. My mum did have one of these, but not when I was alive. Um, so... When I go around corners, the petrol needle goes right down. Yeah, I did just see the uh, fuel light did come on. When and then you go around corners, but when you go around the other corner... It fills up. Yep, and the light yeah, goes off. Typical old Fiat. Right, in a minute, we're going to lose some fuel around this bend. Gearbox feels nicer than the XR2 gearbox. Well, so I probably imagine that this car hasn't been driven as hard as an XR2 for obvious reasons. Oh, yeah. It's a workhorse, I think. It does pull really well. I mean, look at that. Look at the speedo going really quick. Is that even <laughs> legit? Do you see how fast that goes up? It does. It's a bit bouncy, but... Yeah. This would be ideal for just Rome. Nothing. Rome. <laughs> around town, around the cities. Not motorway driving. Yeah, no, around the cities? I mean, I'd hate to try and parallel park this. Uh, no, there's a trick to parallel park this that we'll show you later. Yep. I'm guessing it's got no power steering. No. Nope. <laughs> no power steering. What, what, what kind of question is that? I, I said I'm guessing it doesn't because <laughs> I was just checking, all right? No power steering. Four gears. It no, probably doesn't have power steering. No ABS. Put the cruise control on. Would no you? electric windows. Climate control. Uh, no climate control. Air conditioning. No. Cruise control. No. Uh, we do have one single wiper blade and one at and the a back. heated rear windscreen as well. Yeah, that's we the only luxury this car has is a heated rear windscreen. Got a stereo? Yeah. Oh yeah, and a stereo. Which I, doesn't turn I on. Can't believe we have it an has ashtray. A stereo, to be honest. We've got an ashtray. <laughs> an ashtray. It's got the tannoy speakers. Look at the history it come with. Let's have a look. It's a lot in there. Don't lose it. Oh, I Don't lose. I mean, throw it out the window. Yeah. You can't lose anything in here. There's okay. nowhere to lose anything. 
Like right now, I can feel James's legs in my back. Yeah, the seats are well soft. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can feel the like rigid bit underneath the seat in my butt. What did we say? This has got forty-five brake horsepower. Yeah, it feels quicker. Three people in here. It's actually not that terrible. No, it feels much quicker. I thought it would be the, worse. Wow, fast oh. The throttle response. <laughs> what are you beeping him? He saw you before you saw him. Just beats everyone because he's terrified that if we crash, we die. <laughs> Just letting him know that we're in a fucking big freak. Well, it's, it's, it's a lunchbox, isn't it? Really, a big lunchbox. Well, there we go. What more do you want? I'm going to pull over in a minute. James, you could drive it. No. Just, oh, I've got to have a go. Then we do Jamie's let, honest reviews. Let, let JP have a go. Right. Just and then, go easy with it, honest. Don't do what our friend did in Ireland. Well, it's all right, cause if the cam belt snaps, we just put my... But I, I, I will donate my shoelace. Yeah, to be fair, we should do a shoelace belt swap on it. I just like the fact that in the back here, there is just exposed wheel arch. There's nothing on it. Yeah. It's just metal everywhere. Yeah, so if it rots, you're going to see the wheel. <laughs> Yeah, imagine you get a rust hole. And all you can just see the yeah. wheels turn around as you drive along. The stones flicking up. Oh my god. Right. You don't even feel third going in. No. There's only four gears. Oh yeah, then brakes. Yeah. <laughs> Good job it's light. Do I need to beat past this person? <laughs> I can tell them we're in an old fear, watch out. It'd be funny to take this on a track. Though. I mean, so how bad is the roll? God. Quite rolling. Fucking hell. <laughs> Stop it. Stop someone coming. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at us, what the hell are they doing? Look, look at that look. He's laughing. He's actually got a smile on his face. Whoa. All right, T junction. You have to think about it 100 yards before. Oh, are we yeah. going to stop? Are we going to stop? Where is it? Oh, yeah, my feet! No, nope, that's not the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we might, we might be winding the ditch around here, and <laughs> soon. Mind the puddle. Don't Mind go over the it. Puddle, JP. <laughs> oh, I can just lean out of it. <laughs> you just like lift up his little leg. I was gonna say, if we all, if we all lean to one side, you can probably lift that side off the floor. Bloody hell, she goes well. Goes all she? right. Just um, go easy. Remember on bicycle tyres. Yes, I know. I'm going to pull over in a bit then James will have a go because I feel like I'm about to give out a heart attack. Yeah, I think you had the stress. It's I mean, not I'm you, stressed. it's the car I don't trust. 60 is like 100 in yeah, this car. Yeah, it is. Slow it is down. Like 100. All speeds are doubled. <laughs> I feel I've got to use the gearbox to aid in me slowing down. Oh, it's a bike tight bend. Uh, Shut it out again. Uh, I'll find somewhere to park, pull over in a bit. Mm. No. Over rev it, you get moaned at. Well, I've got no rev gauge. Where am I going? Left. Left. Yeah, then you're on the, uh... Oh my god, what the brakes, Jesus! <laughs> okay, I, wasn't... I actually had a little heart attack there. Actually, the gearbox. Oh. <laughs> I was just gonna say, what? No, I... straight down. Not... There's no, no fifth. Straight... Yeah, that's reverse. <laughs> I, I, I was... And you moaned at me! I, I, was... Just, I treated the gearbox with dignity. I was pulling it straight back, but obviously not you see, straight you enough. You it to the right and back. Yeah. Oh, I know where we are. <laughs> yeah, this is... Um... I could do a lot of this and the car still goes straight. I like that. Do you like that? Yeah, I like that in an old car. No, I, I kind of fell in love with these a little bit when I, we, when I was in Italy and we went up Mount Vesuvius. Did you actually have one of these? No, the no, no, one? no. We had a new Panda. When, oh. we, went to, when, when we went up Vesuvius, there was yeah. a 4x4 four four Panda, what, like this shape, on the top of Mount Vesuvius. And oh. I was like, the fact that that's got here is yeah. quite impressive. I mean, I know this isn't a fat Panda 4x4, but still, I was like, I tried that's pretty look, cool. I did try to look Yeah, they're very rare though, aren't they? I'm, I'm think... nervous about shifting into fourth again now. It's straight down. <laughs> hey. Hey, I did it. <laughs> it's a fine line. Yeah, um, it's an interesting experience. I am slightly terrified, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it, it is a terrifying experience. It's, it's not that bad, it's a bit wallowy. But like, it's old. What do you expect? It does feel uh, kind it, of. It's probably like this when it was. Yeah, I was gonna say it's just like a little tin can on wheels. I mean, 
it has a kind of charm to it though. Like it's the wheel arch is like right by Yeah, my I know. Like it, there's a wheel right by my arch. I'm going to start braking now. Yeah, I would. Highly recommend it. And that I'm going to use the gearbox to assist in this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, don't, I, I don't wonder we're probably going to oh end my up God, in this my, person's house. But. My foot was literally touching the floor and it still wasn't slowing down. <laughs> I have no idea what my revs are, so How I don't really know pick up, when to change gear. Yeah, like in second gear, it, it does actually somewhat go, yeah. Imagine if this was TJ. Oh, mate, that would be the best day. I think I'd have to have power steering to it, though. Uh, you'd have to add a lot of things to it, to TJ, like brakes um, nah, and tyres that aren't that wide. Yeah, there's a lot of things you'd have to do, but it would make a pretty cool car and it would be rapid because it does weigh nothing. It weighs less than an Uno. Yeah. Well, that's because it's basically just an Uno with a smaller engine in it <laughs> and thinner door I cards. I don't know if you the bottom here, are you? No. Oh, no. Right. You breeze that. I mean, like, there's so much metal on display. <laughs> like, everything is red in here because yeah. it's red on the outside. And it's kind of cool. It kind of works. I mean, the thing is, it's done 52,000 miles, which sounds like not a lot, but when you think about how many trips to Tesco and back that is, because let's be honest, that's all this has been used for. Yeah. That's a lot of trips to Tesco, so you know, it's it stood the test of time. The uh, the brake, uh, the fuel light is just aggressively strobing at me randomly every time I turn. <laughs> I like this check panel as well. You've it's got, cool, isn't it, got all of your warning lights, which none of them are on, which is quite impressive. And then um, we're going to give everyone whiplash by stabbing on the brakes or not, because they don't do anything. <laughs> but too fast, you couldn't put in the first fucking part of the car park. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it weighs nothing, so the lack of power steering is really not a problem. Um, yeah, guys, come on in. Come and check out the Panda Spec. One thing I do like, you know these doors are genuine, because they've got Fiat stamped, embroidered on the door. That is a nice touch. Yeah, I mean, it's very basic in here, isn't it? Windy wiper, handles. Windy wipers. <laughs> manual mirrors. Everything is manual. Um, just basic. But you do get a real cool check panel. Come check this out. Put ignition on. Look at that. That is quite cool. Yeah. And it does work. Yeah. It does work. That is cool. There are several buttons. Like we've got the lights, the switch lights on. That works. Oh, that works. Mm, cigarette lighter. And uh, two speed fan. It's only just got more speed gearbox as well. Four speed. Four speed, Four speed gearbox, two speed fan. Yep. And all you Uno Turbo boys will recognise this from a Uno Turbo ashtray, that is. My Uno had one of them. Very nice. And um, stereo. Stereo. Doesn't work. Digital. Probably. Got bass and treble there. Nice. Um, and then of course that the old incredible two-spoke wheel. Yeah. I have to say I am a fan of the two-spoke. That wheel. just screams fear at you, doesn't it? Just it screams eighties. Yeah. Single wiper conversion. And then look at this, look how the mirror is held on here, James. Look at this. Yeah, that is so cool. basic, the whole car is so basic, isn't it? And the speakers. This is the, the noise maker right there. Yeah. Or the bass. Just two of them. I like the... How good condition are these seats in? They're good. Isn't they? I like the pattern. It's well kept, it's well looked after. Only 52,000 miles. Um, yeah, I like it, it's blue, very blue. It is very blue. And I like the fact that they couldn't be bothered to cover the doors with anything. Yeah. So it's red and blue. And yeah. Like it's a good combo. It is. Do you want to hop in the back? And show us how much space is. There is quite a lot. For such a small car, it's quite spacious. I don't want to dirty the carpets because I had them all cleaned, but. It's very basic back here. Oh. Oh. Oh, that is not good, is it? <laughs> what is that noise? It's the seat going back, the metal. Interesting. Well, 
that's new. It wasn't doing that when I was sat there. Were you sat on this side? No, I was sat on the other side, to be fair. And there's a there's a safety feature for rust, isn't there? Well, hey, you know it's not rotten because it's so much metal exposed. If it was you rotten... You actually see the arches. Yeah. I mean, look at that. It's when, when you do get a hole in it, then you get to watch the, the road as you go by it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty cool. Good little car. So... Hmm. Doesn't seem to fit. So what else is good with this car is if you can't get it in a space and you've got your mates with you, you can pick it up and put it in the slot. Ready? <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> like a club. There we go. <laughs> so that concludes today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. What did you think of the little panda? It's more rarer than a real panda, you know that? Is it? Oh well, yeah. Rarer than a well, red panda, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> it's actually quite fun to be fair. I do not feel safe in it at all whatsoever. But uh it is, isn't it? Yeah, you wouldn't <laughs> want to go any over 60 in it. I'm really glad we've got one on the channel. Yeah. I am. If you guys at home have had one, comment below. Tell us your story about owning a Fiat Panda or being in a Fiat Panda. What do you think of them? Shame it's not a 4x4 one, but they're just crazy money and just they're rare as anything. Mm. But um, And after got... being quite scared in it, if anyone's crashed in one, please let us know your experience. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're not around. To tell yeah, they're not around to tell the tail no more, JB. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that took a dark sign. Um, but I think, yeah, we'll wrap it up there. Yeah. And um, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to push that like button. Hit the subscribe button. You know, there's more pe I've looked at the statistics. There's more people out there watching our channel that are not subscribed. Scandalous. How crazy is that? I'll tell you what, we'll do um, a well, giveaway. Until, well, we're already doing a giveaway once we get to 20k, but... Yeah. Uh, all you lot not subscribed, you could, you could be winning a car, but, you know. Yeah. Or if you want a sticker and you subscribed, email me. I'll send you out a sticker. <laughs> they subscribe. <laughs> give me sticker. Yeah. Unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Okay. Go. <laughs> it wanted to die. The wheel, oh, the wheel's bent now. It's idling better now. We fixed it. <laughs> <laughs>